I'm here now with Josh Gowling, the Hereford manager. How disappointed are you with not only the result, but the performance maybe today? Yeah, I mean, when they scored, it was a case of just time wasting, wasn't it? Pretty much for the, the whole game. Um, I thought the, the foul that he played on, when give advantage for, was our foul. Then obviously we've ended up conceding from it. But I just, I just felt the times when we played and we, we put string passes together, they looked like they struggled against us, but that, for me that was just few and far between. So that's probably the disappointing side of things is in possession. So certainly Jack, Jack Holmes and Marco Reese attacked with intent, mm -hmm. but it, it didn't seem that too much drive elsewhere. No, I, I just think obviously we work on things, but you know you, you look at some of the areas we got in first half especially, you know, and that final key pass, we felt we fall short on today. I thought. You know, we, we did get ourselves in good areas and, and then, you know, Jack did, Ryan did at times. You know, Kane had one of those games today where he hooked a lot on rather than getting on the ball and playing. And when you've got ball players in there, you want them to get on the ball and play. And I don't think we did that enough. And it was just, for me, the, the final ball, the final delivery, you know, the execution of that cost us the game. Because they, they were hard work and they looked very professional about the way they went about the business today. Harry. Yeah, yeah, of course they are. I mean, I went and watched them um, Tuesday night against Files. Uh, they went on penalties, didn't they? Uh, it was a one on and they work hard and they press. So you have to have calm and a, a bit of composure in possession, you know, when you're up against that. And I don't think we did that enough today. I don't think we re recycled the ball. I think we went in areas at times and didn't come back out to recycle the ball enough. And that, again, you know, that side of the game, along with the, the final delivery has cost us the game. Now, you've got your way of playing, you've got your system which you prefer to play, getting your wing backs forward, um, but where was the options, especially late in the game? Critics would say, where's the plan B? What difference can you, how, how can you impact on the game late in, in, in the match? Well, I thought I didn't get forward enough. I thought uh, Evo got forward uh, more than on Lattie's side. I think Lattie's doing his army again. Um, after speaking to him today, so um, I don't think we got forward enough that side of the game. And then we shifted, shifted the formation, went a bit more direct second half when we were chasing the game. So we do have a plan B, that's for sure. But at the end of the day, they sat in, they were solid. They took their time from restarts, they slowed the game down, they tried to slow the, the, the tempo and the momentum down. And again, like we said, I mean, we've got some really good areas in the second half, didn't we? In that final ball, I mean, Jack's coming on one, Harry's had one where he's it's gone wide and then you know you look at the set plays our, our, our corners and the delivery just weren't quite there today what can you do to change that ahead of the, the, the double header the second game at Agbra you talk about Atifero they're probably being injured now uh, options there yeah we're looking at it um, we always do look we've, we've had blips since I've been here in, in seasons and we've dropped off and we found a way of working hard which we always do we'll Batten down the hatches and work, look at things, you know, speak to the squad, make sure the squad are working properly to, to, to turn things around. We'll always do that and we've always done it since we've been here and, and, and I've got no doubt about that. Yes, at the moment it's not great and, and the performances, we've had good performances, bad performances and we're not picking up results at the moment. So what we have got to do is, is, is get back to picking up results first and foremost. So obviously we've had some really good performances. I mean, if we play, for me, we play how we've played the last three games before today, we get a win today and we just fell a little bit short today off that and that's the reason it's cost us the game. Pierce uh, and uh, McNally look comfortable at the back against Tyrone Barnett. Is there a chance that you might go to play a different style with maybe two players of the Holloway up there as well? Well, you say that, but I think we got ourselves in some good positions. Look, Christian's been around a long time. He's a good player. Um, he's played however many games he's played in the league, and, and obviously Reese is at Solly or Moores, and we know Reese well from his been here. But for me, I thought we caused them some problems in the first half, especially. But we just weren't clinical enough with those opportunities to really, you know, get that final ball in or, or, or delivery in. So, look, we're looking at it. Of course, we will. We always have a, a plan A and a plan B, like we we have since we've been here, and we'll make sure we get results. A couple of the lone players, I think, are due in January. Yeah. Um, you entered negotiations on, you know, lengthening those, or has that not started yet? Yeah, well, we've got to look at obviously Lay. Look, we've got to look at his hamstring. See how, see how long that's going to be. If he's going to be a while, then obviously. We're not going to renew that, of course. And obviously, we've got um, Marco and Rico. So, you know, obviously, I'll we'll speak to Cobb on a regular about them anyway and, and their progression. So, we'll have those conversations. And obviously, big game there at Agbra. Uh, as a club, you know, you want to try and get a result there because otherwise, you, as you kept saying earlier in your campaign, you don't want to be looking at the bottom end. You want to be looking towards the top. Yeah, definitely. Look, it doesn't matter where it's Kiddy, whoever we play against, we want to win games of football. So, you know, we need to get back to that first and foremost. <laughs> it's not no problem. Um, <laughs> you 
yeah, well, look, we need to get back to that. And, and what we've got to do is get the help of media on playing, between playing really well and then playing average but winning games of football. And at the moment, we've been playing really well and not winning. And then we've played average and not won. So we've just got to get that balance right of getting a complete performance where we can we can go on and be solid, be organised, probably get that 7 out of 10 performance and then and get those victories. So look, the lads are very disappointed in there. We've had a good, frank, honest conversation with each other. We know where we need to be and, and where we want to be as a football club and, and where we want to end up. So we've just got to keep working tirelessly to make sure we get there at the end of the season. Thank you. Cheers, thank you.